Obviously, this video doesn't have harassment on uh, really anyone mentioned, like Weezy TF2, The Watch Show, Richter Over Time, Brad Lauber, and River Silver. But uh, thanks for uh, Brahim for the for real donation, Bucket Jack for the five dollar donation, and Hectic SG for the twenty five dollars. And let's continue on the video. Also, thank thanks for these members. They're really cool. Hello, guys. It's me, Potato Milk, uh, the the Chud from another ch Chudiverse. <laughs> Why the fuck? Recently, uh, on Team Fortress 2, there has been a movement called Fix TF2, which is just Save TF2, but a different word. I'm guessing they want to get somewhere, you know, farther than the past one, where Valve just <laughs> put out a tweet and nothing else. And it's crazy how people are still believing that it might work, which, alright, maybe. Maybe like a, maybe like a 1.2% chance that it'll work, but... I've recently seen a video from uh, River Siver, River Kiver, whatever the f his name is, that, you know, uh, talks about how the Team Fortress 2 community is extremely bored, which is, you know, understandable. Where, you know, he describes the TF2 community as this socially closeted, um, annoying voiced, you know, uh, white people. I mean, yeah, that's what they are. And they can't really change that. The fact that this video got a 25% ratio from dislikes to likes is absolutely f***ing mind-blowing. The TF2 community is super closeted and socially sheltered, you know? Let me just tell you something about myself. I, uh, I joined TF2 in around 20, 2016, 2017, something like that, when Jungle Inferno dropped. And I used to be such a little shot back then. I used to not talk to anyone in school. I would never get out. Uh, I would just always stay inside playing this dead game that they will never update ever again. And look, I, I think that you can't really control yourself when doing that. I was actually like socially back then. I, I didn't know how to talk to anyone. Uh, all my friends were just little chuds that I don't know anymore and probably they're, they're probably in jail now. But as soon as I uninstalled it back in like what? Uh, maybe like half a year ago, which was when I actually like kind of stopped playing the game almost. It's been crazy how I've gotten out more just from this game. I feel like this game has like some sort of curse on me. I uh, finally, you know, started to get out more. I made a lot of friends in school, IRL friends, online friends, you know. It's, it, this game is actually a curse. I'm, I'm not kidding. If you guys uninstall this game and go outside, if you're in high school, fuck, study better or something, or just go to, go to uh, social clubs, uh, I don't know, play a different game, you would probably get, you know, uh, more friends. Uh, you're gonna get like six wives or something. I honestly think this game is a curse on everybody, and you should probably stop playing it. I, I, I think the last time I played this game, I used to be so fucking mad. I, I absolutely hated the community. It was such a bad f***ing community. It was, it was just the same jokes over and over and over again, expecting you to laugh. And most people will just because it has the funny heavy from TF2 on it. I mean, who, who cares, okay? It's just people trying to have fun and it's just band kid humor that nobody really likes except the band kids that run the TF2 community. And River Siver, this guy, has, you know, put out a lot of um, thought into this video, around like 12 minute video, and the amount of comments he got that are just like, so brainless, absolutely brainless, where two people, um, mainly Wheezy TF2 and <laughs> the the what show, Wheezy TF2, uh, is this kind of this guy that makes uh, weapon reviews about guns that nobody uses, like the gas passer or something, or just TF2 in general, and you know, the problem is with these uh, TF2 uh, content creators is that they can't do anything. Uh, they have to make TF2 content or they just kind of die off and stop being relevant. I actually feel so bad for this guy because he's been like absolutely filled with all this positivity and like wholesomeness, quote unquote, and now he can't take legitimate criticism anymore. Because, all right, fine, I, I think he's kind of a bit of a man child for kind of responding this way, but come on, you can't just say bait used to be believable on a video that is obviously thought out and it isn't bait at all. This guy, all right, look, River Siver, you're a bit too negative for this video. If you got a bit more like, a bit more nicer, people would actually listen to you. Uh, but this video really, 
is kind of the pinnacle of how TF2 community doesn't, doesn't really listen to anyone. They just want to be positive and they just ignore all hate and say it's just like, oh yeah, alright, this is just this is mindless hate, guys. Like, oh my god, guys. And one of the certain points this guy brings up is TF2 is unplayable and go play another game. And I've kind of done this. I've actually just stopped playing this as fing game. I play it sometimes, but like there's no servers around me, so what's the point? But there's no other game that is like Team Fortress 2. You always come back to it. And maybe you could say Overwatch. Overwatch is alright. I played it a lot with my Arab friends. It's really fun. It's not like TF2, right? What else is there? Like Deadlock? They're making a new Valve is making a new game called Deadlock. It's it sounds, you know, fun. And the fact that the, U the TF2 community and all of Valve you know, I'm not talking about the people that play CSGO. Those guys are much more better than the TF2 players. But the people that, you know, talk about how the Source engine is the best thing ever are just like the TF2 community where the people that make content about the Source engine are just like, you know, white, mid <laughs> middle-aged men. It's kind of the parallel between Wheezy TF2 and The Watch Show and between, you know, Rat Lobber and Richter Overtime and how they're kind of the same person. Uh, I would imagine Brad Lobber's a lot, you know, cooler. <laughs> Where Rick to Overtime has that annoying little scrawny voice, but actually has, you know, well made content and is really fun, honestly. And how Source Engine Nostalgia is good or whatever. And uh, Rat Lobber makes the kind of content that is, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a single person talk about this kind of content. And it's crazy how the, the parallels between these guys are just so, so obvious. Now, what, what do I gain from, you know, making fun of the TF2 people? Well, I'm not really making fun of them. You know, they, they are just kind of little, little slop chuds, aren't they? But you can like whatever you want, you know? Even if you are a little band kid, with grandpa band kid humor, who cares? You know, have fun the way you want to have fun. Uh, start jelkin in open lobbies, who cares? I don't really care. And just, if you really don't like the bot crisis, stop making false rumors about them. You know bot posters are just normal human beings that think it's just funny doing this. I, I Obviously, I don't support it. I think it's bannable on YouTube, I don't know if it is. But, um, you know, it's just, stop saying that they're all like PDF files. They aren't! They aren't like little child gobblers. People think that these guys are the spawn of hell, the spawn of uh, f***ing devil. They aren't, they're just normal people that think it's funny to make this kind of, you know, trolling campaigns on TF2. <clears throat> the only people that make alright content about TF2 is Shunik. And, um, hmm. Now basically he's the only person that kind of takes the technical aspect. Like that one guy that makes uh, Shunik type videos about Overwatch instead of TF2. I don't remember his name, but he's somewhere. And honestly, Good, good for River Siver for speaking out, but if he did it a little bit more nicer, people would actually listen instead of dislike bombing the video. Thanks for watching, like and sub, uh, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>